We are living in an attention-based economy. Now, the average adult spends over seven hours per day looking at a screen, and that number is just continuing to grow. But when that number continues to grow, that also means that the opportunity for you to be seen through your content continues to grow as well. So in this video, I want to show you how to develop an effective content strategy using ChatGPT. That way you can grow your personal brand or your income or both at the same time. Now we are going to be using the strategy that I have developed on ChatGPT in this video. And we're going to be using my strategy because my strategy works. Now, if you don't know how to properly prompt in ChatGPT and you want to learn from start to finish, you know, the entire thing A to Z, then I recommend purchasing my ChatGPT mastery course, which I will be leaving in the top pinned comment or the description below. We have over 140 members and you'll also get access to the community of those members with the purchase of this course and ChatGPT is doing wonderful things for people. People are engineering their lives in ways that you couldn't imagine. Uh, police officers, pilots, CEOs, founders, everybody's here learning, wonderful place to be. So if you're tired of messing around and you want to learn ChatGPT, then join our course and community. Again, I will leave that in the description or the top pinned comment. Now let's get into this content strategy that I've developed on ChatGPT in order to get ChatGPT working for you. So this is the system that we are going to be creating and it might seem a little weird right now, but stick with me. We are going to see what all of this means. So right now, the whole content system is going to start with you. Uh, it has to start with you. You're the one inputting into ChatGPT and you're going to be the one creating the content. And the next step of the system is one main long form piece of content. Now this can be in the form of a YouTube video, an article, a newsletter, a blog post. It can be whatever you want to focus on. Obviously, I would recommend YouTube. I think it's great. I haven't only seen it work for me. I've seen it work for other people the exact same way I'm doing it. So that's why I'm on YouTube. It's a great way to share and spread information. We're going to have ChatGPT generating these long form content ideas for us. And once we have it generate those content ideas, we're also going to be sharing with ChatGPT the other platforms we like using. For example, LinkedIn, Instagram, X, Whatever your other platforms are that you want to start growing your brand on, this is what we're going to be sharing with ChatGPT because after ChatGPT generates us these long form ideas, it's going to be creating us posts for each one of these platforms. And the beautiful thing about posting on platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, and X is that content from your long form, these long form ideas, these long form messages, all can generate into multiple posts on the smaller platforms like LinkedIn, Instagram, and X. So from one main video idea, you're going to be getting multiple post ideas on these platforms down here. So if we were taking a look at this example, we can generate one YouTube video and get three LinkedIn posts, three Instagram posts, and three X posts. These posts can all be the same because they're on different platforms and you're reaching a bigger audience that way. But starting off with this system, long form to short form is the best way to grow as of right now. So now let's take a look at the prompt that I've created in ChatGPT that I will be leaving in the description below for you to use in order to start making this content system and start getting some ideas for your brand, your business, whatever it is that you're trying to generate content for. So this is the secret sauce. This is where it all begins. We need to understand the prompt that we're using before we use the prompt of ChatGPT. So let me quickly break it down. As you can see, I say, I need help developing a content strategy for my brand in the industry space. All the information that's highlighted in yellow and that's in brackets is going to be information that you need to input in order to make this a tailored custom solution and content strategy for your needs. So we can put in our industry and space right here. The main platforms I use are platform one, two, and three. You can add more platforms if you'd like. Uh, I'm just sticking to three right now. I think it's a pretty general number. And then I have a main platform right here. So the, the main platform is going to be one of these platforms you list up here. For example, I could put YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram, and whatever my main platform is, I could put uh, right here. Now, if you're doing a blog post, you could put something like my website. And then if that's your main platform, you could put, I need to help, I need you to develop content ideas that start on my website. And then you could put uh, my website here for the main platform, if that's where you generate your blog posts, etc. Then we go into the next part. I need you to develop content ideas that start on main platform and have the ability to create multiple posts on the other platforms based on that idea. So it's exactly what we were talking about on the board. We want ChatGPT to generate the initial idea with all of its information and also be able to generate those smaller posts that go on these other side platforms that we have. And then I just list a quick example here. For example, if I were in the artificial intelligence space and I created a video titled six use cases for ChatGPT, that would be the main piece of content for my main platform. Then I would break down each tip or use case as a post or video on my side platforms. So that is what I need you to do. So I'm just giving ChatGPT that example as if I am doing it on YouTube, but you can list another example if it 
helps ChatGPT make a little bit more sense into the main piece of content that you are trying to do. Then I tell ChatGPT, create me, and then you can put how many pieces of main content you want for my main platform. Then I say, generate necessary information. So this is going to be information that you want within that content, like video titles, descriptions, tags, whatever it may be. I'm going to list it out a little bit later so you can see a proper example of that being used, but you wanna list that necessary information in order to completely have ChatGPT do the process for you. Then I say to break down the posts that could come from these content ideas for my other platforms. So now I'm going to copy and paste this into ChatGPT. Again, I'm leaving this in the description below so you can copy that from the description. And now I'm in ChatGPT so I can paste it in. And now it's a pretty big prompt, but I'm going to now fill out all the information that I want ChatGPT to help with. So I've labeled out all of the necessary information. I am saying I need help developing a content strategy for my brand in the ChatGPT space. I then list my main platforms that I use, YouTube, LinkedIn, and Instagram, which I haven't really been using LinkedIn and Instagram very much, but I'm definitely going to start using LinkedIn a little bit more here. So this is going to be a good test. Then I say, I need you to develop content ideas that start on YouTube. So I list out my main platform here, YouTube, and have the ability to create multiple posts based on the other platforms. We read all this, give the example. And then I say, create me three main content ideas for YouTube. I had to list my main platform here. And then this is where the necessary information comes in. As you can see, I'm doing YouTube. So I'm going to be a little bit different than if I were doing an article or a blog post. You just want to list the necessary information that you want it to generate. So maybe you just want the ideas. You don't necessarily want the content. Then you can just say, generate the article ideas based on whatever your uh, space is. So as you can see, I said the chat GPT space. So I tell it to generate the video ideas, titles and video outlines and break down the posts that could come from these content ideas for my other platforms. And I'm also going to add something here that might help the prompt out. And I will be sure to add this uh, in the copyable format in the description below so you don't have to add this. As you can see, I said, make these content ideas relevant and up to date. And that is because I'm going to be changing from the default version of ChatGPT to browse with Bing so that it might be able to pull in some relevant ideas for my content. Now, this isn't a necessary step if you just wanna get some content in the door, but I think it can add a little bit of relevancy to your post uh, using ChatGPT. You can do this using 3.5 um, without browse with Bing, but I think this might help a little bit. So I'm going to select that. And now this is ready to send off, but before we send this off, I wanna add some extra sauce, right? I wanna make sure that ChatGPT's response stands out from the other ChatGPT responses and that it's optimizing for developing a content strategy. So let's go into custom instructions before we send this off. Now, custom instructions seriously allow you to completely change ChatGPT's responses, especially with this box. How would you like ChatGPT to respond? And with this one, this one is also helpful. What would you like ChatGPT to know about you to provide better responses? That's also very important. And what I've done is I've developed a database of over 300 different custom instructions to make ChatGPT an expert in any field. And as you can see, I have all of these in here. And when you click into one, you can quickly copy and paste these into ChatGPT to make ChatGPT a professional in that persona. So as you can see in the marketing category here, I have a content strategist in the upper right. And now once I copy and paste these in to ChatGPT, ChatGPT is going to be thinking like a professional content strategist. As you can see up here, we've given it the role of a content strategist and it's now responding like one too. And now we're ready to send off this prompt and those last two steps, browse with Bing and uh, custom instructions weren't necessary, but I think it definitely helps. It helps make your content stand out and add certain elements to ChatGPT's response that definitely helps with prompting. So let's, after waiting forever in order to send this off, let's finally do it. All right, let's get these content ideas and let's, let's get running with them. So I'm going to send off this message with web browsing activated. And now the post is generated and right off the bat with these custom instructions activated, what I'm noticing is it's asking me a follow-up question, which is definitely going to help me go deeper if I want to go deeper. So we're in the fun part. ChatGPT has now generated our content ideas, which is just amazing. It has content idea one, it gives us a YouTube title. It gives us that main piece of long form content that we need. It gives us our video outline and things we can go over. And once again, follow-up prompting is still a thing uh, when using this system. You can ask ideas about certain posts. You can ask it to change certain things. You can ask ChatGPT to generate you a transcript for a video or to change out certain elements or certain criteria within the outline in order to uh, match your needs. As you can see, it gives us this main piece of content idea with a video outline, our long form piece of content. Then it gives us the LinkedIn breakdown and the Instagram breakdown for these videos. And these posts down here, the LinkedIn post and the Instagram post are based on things that are from this big video. So it kind of helps organizing your content in that way. 
one big video, and then short form content. And as you can see, just from this one content idea, you could be getting one post right here. So one long form YouTube video, that's one. You could be getting four LinkedIn posts. So that makes a total of five posts and three Instagram posts, making a total of eight posts. And these are all unique and different, but they're based on the same topic, which would be ChatGPT, the future of virtual communication. So you're getting eight posts in a matter of seconds using ChatGPT in this prompt with the system that I've created. And not only that, but it's also doing it with these other posts as well. So now you have a seven more content ideas. So now you're up to 15 pieces of content um, in a matter of 15 seconds. Then we go down to content idea three, and that's another seven posts. So you can really start to generate content and develop a beautiful strategy with just a little bit of knowledge on how to prompt in ChatGPT and just activating some certain things and flipping things around and using this template. Now, brainstorming ideas is actually one of the hardest things when trying to grow your personal brand or, or start up a social media account. And that's honestly what I've even been struggling with. And I have a decent sized following and I've been doing this for a year now. So even I struggle with it. So whatever level you're at, you can definitely use this or take elements from it in order to help you develop that content strategy that's going to move the needle. Now, once again, if you want to learn ChatGPT in depth from A to Z, start to finish everything you need to know and get a thriving community, then definitely consider purchasing the ChatGPT Mastery course. And if this video helped you and you want to learn more about ChatGPT, then I consider watching all the free content on my channel. You know, I have tons of free content out here to help you uh, master ChatGPT. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more videos like this, please drop a like, comment your feedback below and subscribe. Hit the bell notification so you're the first one to know all of these useful nuggets before anybody else. Uh, that way you can start applying and using these techniques. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video.